Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT session on tools for working on networks. Today we're going to discuss some cable tools and then some other tools that you might want to have in your toolbox. And with that, let's go ahead and begin today's session. And of course, I'm going to begin by talking about cable tools. Now, every technician should put some thought into the tools that are in his or her toolbox. It's often said that you get what you pay for, and that is very true with tools. While a good technician can get away with buying the most inexpensive tools, spending a little bit more money on some of them for a better tool can ease the job and ultimately make the technician more efficient. There is a flip side to this. It is very easy to overspend on tools as well and never be in a position to utilize all of the features that the tool provides. You will save money in the long run by thoroughly researching the tools that you need and desire before making any purchase. And with that, let's move on to some specific cable tools. And we start with crimpers. Every technician needs a set of crimpers. These are used to place cable ends on the ends of cables. They can be designed to work with a single type of cable like twisted pair or with multiple types of cables. Some crimpers are able to place ends on twisted pair cable and on coax. Next is the punch down tool. These are used to secure cable wires into punch down blocks and good ones will trim the ends of those wires at the same time. In many cases, punch down blocks are used to terminate cable runs in a central location. Quite often, these blocks are on the back side of patch panels. Now, a good punch down tool will actually save your wrists and your fingers from fatigue. Then there's the cable tester. These are used to test cables for common problems, as in misconfiguration of the pinouts. They can test for the cable standard that's used. Is it T568A or is it T568B? Cable testers will also notify you if there's a short or break in the cable. Some types of testers can also test for cable length and the quality of the cable. If there's a particular place where you can overspend on a tool and not utilize all the functions, it's in the cable tester. Most of us will never need a TDR, a Time Domain Reflectometer, which is a type of cable tester. Now let's move on to the toner probe. The toner probe is a tool that is used to trace a wire or cable from end to end. It is also sometimes called a fox and hound. Toner probes come in two pieces, the injector and the probe. The injector introduces a signal into a cable and the probe will emit a tone when placed on or close to the cable. This allows a technician to trace a cable by placing the injector on one end and following the cable to its endpoint. This comes in handy when placing a bundle of cables into a punch down block and you want to know which cable is which. Every inexpensive toner probe that I've ever used has been difficult to work with if it would even work at all. So I would recommend stepping up and spending a little bit more money on your toner probe. So now let's move on to other tools that you may want to have in your toolbox. And we begin with the multimeter. Now this is used to test for electrical current. Most can test for AC and or DC current and will also display the amount of current that is present. They're used to troubleshoot power issues. They can also be used to test the integrity of cables by testing for continuity, whether or not there's a break in the cable. You can also use a multimeter to ensure that your power supplies are putting out the proper voltages in your network. Now let's talk about loopback plugs. These are used to test the operation of a network interface or network interface card. A network signal is sent out from the interface and looped back into the interface to actually test its operation. Using just the loopback address will only actually test the TCP IP protocol stack to ensure that it is properly initialized. Using the loopback interface will not test the physical interface for functionality. Loopback plugs are fairly easy to make, so you can make your own and save some money there. Now that concludes this session on tools for working on networks. 
I talked about cable tools, and then I talked about some other tools that you might want to have in your toolbox. Now, on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I look forward to doing another one.